as down the Glen Warney star morn to a city pharaoh die. There are mad lines of marching men in squadrons passed me by. No pipe did a hum, no battle drum did beat out its wild tattoo. But the angelus bell or the lippy swell rang out in the foggy dew. Right proudly high over Dublin town we flung out our flag of war. It was better to die neath an Irish sky than at Suvla or Sodel Bar. And from the plains of Royal Meath, strong men came hurrying through, while Britannia's Huns and the great big guns sailed into the foggy dew. It was England bad our wild geese go that small nations might be free. But the lonely graves are by Suvla's waves or the fringe of the great North Sea. Oh, had they died by Pierce's side or fallen by Carl Bro, their names we would keep while the Fenians sleep neath the shade of the foggy dew. As back through the glen I rode again, my heart with grief was sore. For that gallant band of fighting men, I never would see more. And to and fro in my grief I go, I think and I pray for you. For slavery fled most glorious dead when you fell in the foggy dew. They came on the promise of big money, blood money. They terrorized the country from east to west, from north to south. But the black and tanned gangsters from Dartmoor and Peterhead reckoned without the boys of Barry's flying column. From east to west, from north to south, they tried to hunt the column out, but the towns were forced to go without the boys of Barry's column. There's prison scum and brown and black, no tanks or war equipment like, but oh, they see they'll now get back at the cut by Barry's column. Oh, but isn't it great to see the Tommies and the RIC, black and tans and staters flee away from Barry's column. From prison cells they came to stay and wipe out Irish boys away. But oh, the lovely holiday was stopped by Barry's column. Lloyd George may have some wily tricks on how the volunteers to fix. But all his black and tans go sick to think of Barry's column. Oh, but isn't it great to see the Tommies and the RIC? Black and tans and staters flee away from Barry's column. Along the lonely road they wind, and in front and I'm behind, we're sorry, but that parade was mine, so the lads of Barry's column. They stopped to rest just for a spell, some hand grenades upon them fell. Here, share them out among yourselves, so the lads of Barry's column. Oh, but isn't it great to see the Tommies and the RIC, black and tans and staters flee away from Barry's column. kitchen fire it's battle along and brown and one day with a boy's desire i climbed to take it down my father's eyes with anger flashed he said what have you done i wish you'd left it where it was that's my alpinian gun I fondled it with love and pride, I looked it o'er and o'er. I placed it on my shoulder and I marched across the floor. 
My father's anger softened and he shared my boyish fun. Ah, well, said he, it's in your breed, like that Alfinian gun. I remember 67 well, he said, when lands like me, we thought we'd strike another blow to set old Ireland free. How foolish were our boyish hopes, we were months upon the run. But it did good work for Ireland, then did that Alfinian gun. Was down then in Kilmallock, twas the hottest fight of all. And you see, bet his arm was the mark still of a ball. I hope the boys that are going now will keep the ground we've won and not disgrace the cause in which I held a pinion gun. Brixton prison where a dying rebel lay by his side a priest was standing ere his soul should pass away and he faintly murmured father as he clasped him by the hand Tell me this before you leave me. Shall my soul pass through our land? Shall my soul pass through old Ireland? Pass through Cork's own city grand? Shall I see the old cathedral? Where St. Patrick took his stand Shall I see the little chapel Where I pledged my heart and hand Tell me, Father, ere you leave me Shall my soul pass through our land was for love in dear old Ireland In this prison cell I lie Twas for love in dear old Ireland In this foreign land I die Will you meet my little daughter won't you make her understand? Tell me, Father, ere you leave me, shall my soul pass through our land? With his heart as pure as a lily, and his body sanctified, in that lonely Brixton prison, our brave Irish rebel died. Pray to the priest his wish be granted, as in blessing raised his hand. Father, grant to this brave man's prayer. May his soul pass through our land.
Oh, Paddy, dear, and did you hear the news that's going round? The shamrock is forbid by law to grow on Irish ground. No man St. Patrick's Day may keep his colour, can't be seen. For there's a cruel law again, the wearing of the green. I met with Napper Tandy, and he took me by the hand. Said he, how is old Ireland, and how does she stand? She's the most distressful country that ever can be seen. For the hanging men and women for the wearing of the green. Then since the colour we must wear is England's cruel red. Sure, Ireland sons will ne'er forget the blood that has been shed. You may take the shamrock from our hat and cast it on the sod, but it will take root and flourish there, the one that put its trod. When the laws can stop the blades of grass from growing as they grow, and when the leaves in summertime their colour dared and show, then I will take out the shamrock I wear in my cabin. But until that day, place God, I'll stick to the wearing of the green. But if at last the colour should be torn from Ireland's heart, her sons with shame and sorrow from the dear old Isle will part. I've heard a whisper of a land that lies beyond the sea, where rich and poor stand equal in the light of freedom's day. Oh, Erin, must we leave you driven by a tyrant's hand? Must we seek a mother's blessing from a strange and distant land, where the cruel cross of England shall never more be seen? And where, please God, we live and die still wearing of the green. The sun had set with its golden rays and the bitter fight was o'er. A brave boy sleep beneath the clay on the south, they are no more. The moonbeam shone on the battlefield where a dying rabble lay. His arms were crossed on his body outstretched and his life's blood flowed away. Our comrades in silent ambush lay, for the evening sky was clear. Yet not one man was there afraid, our brave boys knew no fear. Few people in the city streets had heard that fierce affray of that valiant youth whose home was set into prairies so far away. There was none to weep for you, Sean, as thought as you lay on the ground. Your comrades knew you were on your own as you warily looked around. Lift me gently, you whispered, no longer on earth must I stay. Oh, I never more roam to my own native home, Tipperary so far away. The soldiers of Ireland bore him high on their shoulders with solemn tread. And many a heart with a tearful sigh wept for our patriot dead. In silence they lured him into the grave to await for the reckoning day. Sean Tracy, who died his home to stay in Tipperary so far away. Attend you gallant Irish men and listen for a while. I'll sing to you the praises of the sons of Erin's Isle. It's of those gallant heroes who voluntarily ran to release two Irish Fenians from an English prison van. On the 18th of September, boys, it was a dreadful year. 
på en sår og en excitement ran throughout all Lancashire. At a gathering of the Irish boys, they volunteered each man to release those Irish prisoners out of the prison van. Kelly and Daisy were their names, I suppose you knew them well. Remanded for a week, they were in Bellevue jail to dwell. When taking of the prisoners back, their trial for to stand. To make a safe deliverance, they conveyed them in a van. William Daisy was a man of good and noted fame. Likewise, Michael Larkin will never forget his name. With young Alan and O'Brien, they took a part so grand in that glorious liberation and take and smash the van. In Manchester one morning, those heroes did agree. Their leaders, Kelly and Daisy, should have their liberty. They drank a health to Ireland and soon made up a plan to meet the prisoners on the road and take and smash the van. With courage bold, those heroes went, and soon the van had stopped. They cleared the guards from back and front, and then smashed in the top. But in blowing open up the lock, they chanced to kill a man. So three men must die on the scaffold high for smashing of the van. One cold November morning in 1867, these martyrs to their country's cause a sacrifice were given. Oh, God save Ireland was the cry all through the crowd it ran. Oh, Lord, have mercy on the boys that helped to smash the van. So now, kind friends, I will conclude, I think it would be right. That all true-hearted Irishmen together should unite. Together they should sympathize and do the best we can to keep the memories ever green of the boys that smashed the van. The smashing of the van. It was on a dreary New Year's Day as the shades of night came down. A lorry load of volunteers approached the border town. There were men from Dublin and from Cork, Arman and Antiro. And the leader was a 
Limerick man John South of Gary And as they moved along the street Up to the barrack door They scorned the dangers they would meet And fate that lay in store They were fighting for old Ireland's cause To claim their very own And the foremost of that gallant band Was South of Gary But the sergeant spoiled their daring plan He spied them through the door then the sten guns and the rifles soon a hail of death did pour. And when that awful night was past, good men lay cold as stone. There was one from the border and one from Gary. Eagles cry or the murmuring shan and tide. For he fell beneath the northern sky, brave Hanlon by his side. He has gone to join his gallant band of blanket, pierce and tongue. A martyr for old Ireland. Shot south of Gary Divided never shall be free. Oil and divided calls to you and me. For all your sake, abandon all your fears. Ireland is calling, calling for volunteers. Fight but for your country's sacred laws. Fight for against the cruel Saxon cause. Twas for a sake, young Kevin Barry died. Died in Mount Joy, boys dead, but shall never die. Ireland united, every night I pray. Ireland united, free from Saxon sway. The time is near when our flag from shore to shore shall wave over free men, republic forevermore. Ireland divided, never shall be free. Ireland divided, calls to you and me. For her dear sake, abandon all your fears. Ireland is calling, calling for volunteers. Soldier song with cheering, arousing chorus As round the blazing fire we throng the starry heavens o'er us 
impatient for the coming fight and as we await the morning light here in the stillness of the night we will chant a soldier song soldiers are we whose lives are pledged to our land some have come from the land beyond the wave sworn to be free no more an ancient sire land shall shelter the despot or the slave Tonight we man the barn a boil In errands cause come woe or weal Midst cannons roar and rifles pill We will chant a soldier song In a valley green and towering crag Our fathers fought before us And conquered neath the same old flag That's proudly floating o'er us We're children of a fighting race Who never yet have known disgrace And as we march the dawn to face We will chant a soldier song Soldiers are we Whose lives are pledged to our land Some have come from the land beyond the wave Sworn to be free No more an ancient sire land Shall shelter the despot or the slave Tonight we man the barn of oil In errands cause come woe or weal Midst cannons roar and rifles pale We will chant a soldier song See the host of elite footmen who fly with faces wan From farmstead and from fishers cut upon the banks of a ban They come with the vengeance in their eye Too late, too late are they for Rody Macaulay goes to die on the bridge of a tomb today. Ireland, mother, Ireland, you love them still the best. The fearless few who fighting fall upon your hapless breast. But never a one of the bravely fell in free. Than he who marches to his fate on the bridge of a tomb to die. Up the narrow street he stepped, smiling and proud and young. About the hemp rope on his neck, the golden ringlet hung. With never a tear in a blue, blue eye, both glad and bright are they. As Rony Macaulay goes to die on the bridge of a tomb today. When he last stepped up that street, his shining pike in hand. Behind him marched in grim array, a stalwart in his band. For Rantrum Town, for Rantrum Town, he led them in the fray. And Rory Macaulay goes to die on the bridge of a tomb today. How his pike flashed in the sun and found a foreman's heart. Through furious fight and heavy odds, he played a glorious part. And many a red coat bit the dust before his keen pike play. And Rory Macaulay goes 
to die on the bridge of a tomb to die because he loved the motherland because he loved the green he goes to join the martyred throng with proud and joyous men true to the last true to the last he threads the upward way and rode him a call he goes to die on the bridge of a tomb today At a cottage door one winter night As the snow lay on the ground A youthful Irish soldier By to the mountains he was bound His mother stood beside him Saying you'll win my boy don't fear And with loving arms around his waist She tied a bandolier Goodbye, God bless you, mother dear I hope your heart won't pain But you'll pray to God that soon you'll see your soldier boy again. And when I'm in the firing line, it will be a source of joy to know that you're the mother proud of an Irish soldier boy. Oh, grand it was to see him go in his youthful strength and pride. As straight and firm as the mountain ash that grows by any side. He left a memory in the heart that time can never destroy. And said, Mother dear, I know you'll pray for your Irish soldier boy. When the fighting it was over and the flag of truce was raised, the leaders of the fight did see your lyre and there amazed. And his comrades came to her cottage door with a note from her pride and joy, containing the last courageous words of her Irish soldier boy. Goodbye, God bless you, mother dear, I'm dying a death so grand. Of wounds received in action, trying to free my native land. And when at night you kneel to pray, it will be a source of joy to know that you're the mother proud of an Irish soldier boy.